Thanks for tuning in to part two of our three-part series on home energy audits. Hopefully you've already seen part one where we followed Byron Burns of Energy Logic through a general energy inspection of our home. Now we'll shadow him as he conducts a blower door test to help us understand where our house leaks warm air in the winter and cool air in the summer. Let's go see what Byron's testing has to tell us. Byron's setting up for the blower door test here, which is going to help us determine where our house is leaking. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, what, you're, what you're actually going to be able to determine here? Yeah, so what the blower door is doing is it's sucking air out of the house, and uh, we know how much air is leaving the house, then we know how much air is coming into the house from all the penetrations around, you know, little holes and the wall systems are in the attic or whatever. Um, so this thing will measure that amount of air that's going out and then it'll also kind of uh, simulate about a 25 mile an hour or 20 mile an hour wind on all surfaces of the house. So with that and then with the infrared camera we can walk around and we can see temperature changes in the wall system and actually kind of pinpoint some air leaks that could be uh, causing issues. So. This uh, infrared camera, and what it's doing is it's uh, taking a, a reading of how much heat is being uh, radiated from objects. So as uh, heat is a is basically a, a light uh, wavelength. You can read it, and what it's doing is just turning it into uh, different colors for different uh, types of heat. Down here at the bottom, you see the temperature scale. Dark is uh, 60 degrees, and uh, pretty close to white is 69. So, the, like this one, you can kind of see the dark uh, rings right around the, uh, the joint there. It's kind of fanning it out, so what that kind of shows you is how much it, it shows you the air is coming in there and cooling off that trim. Uh, and then uh, you can see the big change in the temperature uh, where the glass is, which single pane glass doesn't hold very much heat back. So, and then you know, so you can actually see all the leakage around there. One of the other things, this entryway is uh, built all on the same piece of concrete that the outside is built on. So there's a, uh, there's a lot of heat loss out, just the concrete. You're heating up the concrete and it's just rolling it out as it goes. You can see a definite temperature change in that uh, seam there. Oh, yeah. So something like a cork floor in this entry might provide some insulating value. Sure. We've got a pressure difference of uh, about 10% 10 10 between the house and the garage. So that means that 10% of the air is changing in between the house and the garage, and that's right about the upper limit that we'd like to see it at. If there's any more, it would definitely be worth taking care of and uh, doing more air sealing to isolate that garage, which with this house you'd expect that much because you don't have rooms above it, you don't have a lot of connection, only have about an 8, 10 square foot uh, or linear connection there so okay so it's not bad though the way it's, it, it's not bad it's right at the uh, it's bouncing around about medium uh, you know it, it's not it, it's not in that high point so okay I think it should be fine um, you know anything you did here for air sealing up the door would probably take care of that there's definitely some air leakage coming out of the, the door so that might even take care of most of that connection that you're seeing at all so so this house isn't that leaky uh, for what I can see out of the, the blower door. It's got some spot problems to where you're losing heat uh, or losing air in probably uncomfortable areas. But uh, as far as the actual house as a whole, it's pretty tight. So 
we'll uh, kind of keep that in the back of our minds as we're going through looking for air sealing. There's uh, we can definitely we want to air seal as much as possible, but then you kind of run into you want to also be able to bring in some fresh air as it goes. So we'll look for places we can air seal that will improve comfort, and then we'll also maybe leave some that will allow the house to actually breathe the way it's supposed to. And you guys are going to have the, uh, the ventilation fan in the bathroom, so that would be a, a good spot for ventilation. All right. Thanks to the blower door testing, we now have some specific things we can work on tightening up, after which we'll have Byron come back to do some follow-up testing. Don't forget to check out Part 3 of our Home Energy Audit series where Byron will take an analytical look at our furnace and ductwork.